Hey, it's Shay and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about my diaper bag and what I bring with me and how I pack it. It's so important that you and your baby have exactly what you need before you leave the house because trust me, something as simple as a pacifier, if your baby uses one, can make a car ride more stressful than it needs to be. And trust me, I've been there before and it is not fun. So before we get what's inside of my bag, I'm just gonna show you guys what diaper bag I use. And this is from Walmart. I got it on my registry. The brand is called Gimar Sweet Life. I'm not really sure if I said that right, but I love this bag. I feel like pretty much everyone in 2020 or almost every mom in 2020 is wearing these kind of diaper bags these days. I have rarely ever seen anyone with an over the shoulder type of diaper bag. I feel like that's kind of played out now and it's just more convenient to have a book bag. You can carry a baby, you can just have both of your hands free. It's way more convenient than a regular, or I should say an old school um, diaper bag. So I will try to find the exact link to this bag in particular, but I remember the last time that I did go online, I couldn't really find it. I think it was discontinued or maybe they just don't sell it at Walmart anymore. I'm not sure, but any kind of book bag like this is just perfect for me. And I like this bag in particular because it has so many cool compartments and you can really fit a lot in here without overstuffing it and without it being so big and bulky. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with this front part here, this little zipper part. So in here is where I mostly carry my personal things. I don't carry a purse anymore because I have this bag. I feel like it's kind of pointless unless I'm going out somewhere and it's for fashion purposes. But uh, other than that, I don't carry a purse anymore. This is my purse. So in here, this little zip part, I have my wallet. I have my lip glosses and lipsticks whatever i'm wearing that day and i have this baby bomb moisturizing hand lotion so i carry this everywhere i go can't have ashy hands so another cool thing about this bag is that it has an insulated part right here but it has three little part compartments here where i can put my baby's bottle so if we're warm up the baby's bottle and we're on our way out i can place it in here and it'll stay warm for a really long time so i really like that about this bag so that's pretty much all I have in this front compartment. Let's move on to the side pockets. Uh, so in this compartment, I have a hand sanitizer and this is from uh, Baby Gannix. It's a cute little foam hand sanitizer. And then this one is also a hand sanitizer on this side. Um, this is a bigger, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this one actually. It kind of, it kind of stinks, but you know, it does the job. So that's pretty much all I have on the sides, a hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, because people want to touch your baby or, well, nowadays, I don't think they're doing that, but now let's get into what's inside the actual bag. So before I take anything out, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like, all nicely packed. Um, it doesn't always look like this. A week or two ago, I reorganized it because I felt like, oh my goodness, I can't think, I can't process anything if everything is just bulged up in here and everything you just throwing things in here you can't find things and then you got to take everything out to find one little thing so i reorganized it and i think it works perfectly so first i'm going to start off with the little pockets on the sides so my baby is four months old so we're past that newborn phase so what i like to carry with me because you never know you never know when you're gonna have an accident or spit up or poop you just never know so i have this little outfit burrito and i actually found this hack here on youtube um there was like a diaper bag hack video that i watched a little while ago she made a little outfit burrito and i thought you know what this is perfect you have everything all in one little burrito so i have his socks here and i'll show you guys how i roll it up i have his socks here and i have a little outfit a onesie and a pair of pants now that it's getting colder, I'm probably going to update this to a long sleeve onesie. Okay, so next I have 
I have another extra onesie. This one is not an outfit. It's just an extra onesie just in case I need it. So I have two extra onesies. And another thing that I put in my bag, I don't honestly think it makes a difference, but maybe it's just this brand. But this Arm, um, arm and Hammer, they're like little, I don't know, deodorizer thingies that you can put in your diaper bag or in your diaper pail to make it smell a little bit better. It smells good when you're this close to it, but honestly, when I open up my bag, it doesn't really make a difference. But, you know, I carry about two of these in here. So, on to the next side pocket. I have this little case with a pacifier in it. Just in case we forget his pacifier, we have an extra one in here. He uses a Suzy typically, but he pretty much would take any other pacifiers. So, I put this in the case so that it doesn't rub up against everything. So as I said, my baby is four months old. So we now pack this for him, this little uh, teething ring toy. It's like car keys, I guess. You can put them in a the fridge, make them nice and cool so when your baby chews on them, it feels really good on their gums. And now I'm gonna have to wash it because my hands are all over it. But yeah, so we put this in here just in case he's really fussy and nothing else is helping. This is just, you know, distract him a little bit. Now that he's grabbing things and everything, um, I thought that this would be a good idea. So this is all in the same side pocket and this bag really holds a lot of things, but it doesn't look like it. So next I have an extra bed, you never know. I don't know about you guys, but my baby is teething right now. So he drools everywhere, all over his clothes. If he doesn't have on a bib, his shirt is going to be soaked. <laughs> so if we do, um, when we do take him out, he has on a bib. But just in case that one gets really dirty, I have an extra bib and a burp cloth just in case you know i've been spit up on on several thousand occasions but uh yeah so we have an extra burp cloth extra bib also in the same side pocket you guys i have this i've actually never used this but i just carry it just in case um this is butt paste for a diaper rash um my baby has actually never had a diaper rash uh thank god I use a and ointment um, frequently throughout the day. And I don't honestly don't use it with every single diaper change. My baby doesn't really have sensitive skin or anything like that. So if we ever do need this, then I know that I have it covered. So we have butt paste. So if you saw my first time mom's essential video, then you saw this next item that I'm going to show you guys. I carry this at all times. This never leaves my diaper bag ever, 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 okay? This is my changing pad. I'm just gonna show it really quick in case you haven't seen that video. Definitely go check it out. So, this is what it looks like. I also have some extra diapers in here. Um, these are Love's diapers. I really hate Love's diapers, but someone bought it for us and we haven't been, had to buy diapers since he was born, so thank God. So I just have this here just in case, but right now he's currently using Pampers, but my favorite are Huggies Little Snugglers. Comment down below what your favorite diapers are for your child. And then I have an extra little uh, Ziploc baggie full of a &D ointment. So we got the butt paste, we got the a &D ointment. Gotta make sure my baby doesn't get a diaper rash. And to go along with that, I have these Pampers wipes. Again, these are not my favorite. They smell really good, but I personally don't like scented wipes. But it's a baby fresh scent. My baby doesn't have sensitive skin, so I figure it's okay. I'm not using it on his face or anything. My favorite wipes so far are the natural, I can't remember what it's called, That's um, from Huggies, again. It's their natural wipes. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I'll put it right here somewhere on the screen. But these are my favorite wipes. But I carry these because again, people bought us wipes. We haven't bought wipes ever because we got so many gifts. So thank you, shout outs to everyone who's given us gifts. We really, really appreciate it. And of course, you can't have a change of pad. You can't have wipes and everything without extra diapers. So you saw that I had some Love's diapers in there, but I also have these Pampers here. So I have about eight extra diapers, plus the ones that I just showed you in the changing pad. So I just gotta make sure you can't ever run out of diapers. That is the worst nightmare. So I almost forgot to mention this, but this is one of the most important items that I carry in my diaper bag at all times. And I put it in the back of the bag in this little plastic compartment. And that is a plastic Ziploc bag. Um, this is for 
if I have a dirty diaper and I can't dispose of it right away, I'll put it in here. Or if the baby, you know, pooped all over his clothes, which he has done before, and I've placed it in this plastic bag so that it doesn't get all over the other items in the bag. So very, very important for me. So if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I am a breastfeeding mom. And this right here is for when I'm breastfeeding my baby. And it's just a little cover up. Um, it has a little weight right here so that you can just pretty much throw it over your shoulder and just cover your baby. Now this used to be lovely when my baby was a newborn, but now that he's getting older, whenever I'm breastfeeding him with this on, he's like throwing it up in the air and, and like moving his hands, grabbing it, pulling it. So it's like kind of pointless because he's exposing me anyway. But listen, okay, I'm not the type of mom who's too concerned about covering myself up completely because look, my child gotta eat, okay? Um, because at the end of the day, you have to feed your child and if someone feels uncomfortable with it, they can either step away, look away, whatever they gotta do because I gotta feed my child. I think this is the last item in my diaper bag and that is just an extra receiving blanket. Um, this is just in case we go over to someone's house or we go somewhere and we wanna lay our child down but we don't wanna lay them on their bed or whatever service it is. And I'll just use a receiving blanket. And now that it's getting colder, I do bring blankets with me, but I just don't put them in the diaper bag because it's a little bit too bulky. There's one more item. It's not really for the baby. It's just another, I have another one of these deodorizers. Again, I don't think it makes a difference. I'm not sure. It smells good. But yeah, I have two of these in here just to, you know, freshen up my diaper bag. If you guys have any suggestions for anything that's better than these, because honestly, I can't really smell them, leave a comment down below. So there's another part of this bag that I really like that I kind of just figured out like a week ago. Um, it's this little zipper here in the back. I like, um, I think this is really convenient because if you have a lot of stuff in here and you don't want to take everything out to find one thing, you can just unzip this and boom, everything inside your bag, you can see from here, you could just grab and take it like that. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. So that is it for what I bring in my diaper bag for my four month old son. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on something that I should bring that I'm not bringing, definitely leave that in the comments below because I would love to know. I always want to be prepared wherever I go. Just like when I'm packing for myself for a trip, I overpack just because you just never know. So I try to do that same thing with my baby's diaper bag. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Maybe I have some things in my bag that you would like to pack for your baby. So thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I would hate for you to miss out on my next video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.